Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to compose React components. Um, as the challenges continue to use more complex composition with React components and JSX, there is one important point to note. Rendering ES6 style class components within other components is no different than rendering the simple components you, you, you used in the last few challenges. You can render JSX elements stateless functional components and ES6 class components within other components. <clears throat> in the code editor of uh, the types of food component, which is uh, right here, not to be mistaken with types of food, of fruit, types of food component is already rendering a component called vegetable. Vegetables. So you can see it's rendering vegetables right here. If we were to comment this out, um, Oh, the comment doesn't work like that. In order to comment here, we need to go uh, asterisk forward slash, and then here we need uh, forward slash asterisk. Then we see that the uh, vegetables has gone away. <clears throat> and so we can get rid of this. Uh, so we've got the nested vegetables w is, is within here. We nest two components inside of fruits First, non-citrus, and then citrus. Both of these components are provided for you behind the scenes. Okay, so they're not here, but we just have to trust that they're there. Both of these. Um, next, nest the fruits class component into the types of food. Okay, so yeah, here, we're in the types. Uh, oh, we want to put fruits into the types of food. And so we'll do that by going fruits. Cool. Now we've got the fruits in here. Uh, okay. We want to nest two, in, two components inside fruits. First, non-citrus, and then citrus. Okay, so let's do non-citrus. Cool. And now our non-citrus fruits are being in there. And then we'll just copy this and take out the uh, non part for citrus. There we go. And so now we're nesting uh, multiple components within the fruits one, and then in the types of food section, we've got vegetables as well. And so here we can just say fruits and vegetables. The result should be a series of nested components which uses two different types. So yeah, I think if we ran the test, that would pass. And so, yeah, we don't need these comments in here if we were looking at it. This is the way that a React, a real React, um, you know, uh, type of food component would look. So this is uh, pretty useful stuff. I kind of like removing these comments because now we don't, we don't need to have that coaching. So this would be a kind of like a perfect uh, solution to this situation. Um, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.